Let's talk about the end of the year Google Classroom things that you can know that you really need to take care of. This video will focus on the things that you need to do in your Google Drive. Whether you know it or not, your Google Drive does play a major role in your Google Classroom organization and keeping everything that the kids share back and forth with you in a good organization. So let's jump over to my account where I mainly use Google Classroom. My first tip, suggestion, strong influence that I want you to understand is don't ever, 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 ever delete this particular folder. It will ruin your drive and it will be incredibly difficult to get it all back organized. This classroom folder is there for a reason. It's the, the folder that all of your actual Google Classrooms have a folder created just for it inside that classroom folder. These are just my classes from this particular school year. So you can see I'm attached to quite a few. I would never want to get rid of this classroom folder because then it's going to make a big mess. But what I want to do at the end of this school year, because I know I'll get a bunch of new classes next year, is I'm going to create a new folder inside of my classroom folder. And I'm going to call it my 2021 classrooms. And then when I have that created, it's just taking a little bit of time. I'm actually going to pop all of these classrooms right inside of that classroom folder. I can take several of them at a time and drop them in. Continue on, same thing. And this is going to give me a much much better and much more organized Google Classroom folder. Now, while we're here, another thing that you could do instead of calling it your 2021 classrooms, you could just opt to make a quote old classrooms folder and dump all of your old classrooms into there. I like doing it by the school year because if I ever needed to go back and look, I could easily find some of these classes that I'd already created. The second major thing that you need to be aware of, and it's a good time to do it right now at the end of the school year, is in your drive, scroll down below all of your folders. You see all of these files? I like to call them my homeless files. I should probably take a good 10, 15 minutes and go through each one of them decide do I need to hold on to them? Do I need to put them somewhere in a particular folder? I can always click on it, do a right click or a two finger click on my trackpad and click the move to and put it in a particular folder that I want to house it in. Or maybe I decide that I am ready to delete it. If I no longer need it, I select it, grab my trash can and it's gone. 10, 15 minutes, hopefully you don't have that many down here. Maybe you need to plan for a little bit more. I hope these are some tech tips that will help you wrap up your Google Classroom and make next year starting out much easier and cleaner.